everyone, it's Jim Pagliampsis here from HQ Media. We're at Collision Conference in Toronto. Day two, lots to do, but we met someone very interesting yesterday. We met Scott and Neil. And I'll tell you a little funny story before I tell them, because I told them the story, and they, they were finding stitches. A few years ago, I met Scott at an event, and he gave me this, uh, this movable tattoo. So I actually put it on my arm, put it on there, and uh, that's it right there. This is, this is it, this tattoo. So I put it on there, I was very proud of it. It was summer, so I go to my parents' place, and they literally blew their gasket. <laughs> you put a tattoo out. I never ever seen my parents, so I don't know, no, 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 it's, it's, it's removable. <laughs> it means infinity, it means that. So uh, they're okay now. Yeah. Uh, but now we were connected, connected again, and uh, I'm going well, to play another one. Well, to continue one. it is I just walked up to you, and we had not walked up to anyone and just said, hey, do you guys want a gift? Yeah. And there we are looking at each other, and you said, did you give me this a couple of yeah, years ago? Yeah, yeah, So we're back reconnected, and now we're going to hear the story behind it, because it's a powerful story. So go ahead, share the story. Yeah, so, Scott, so you? I met Scott. Um, I had gone through a clinical depression and was going through a very challenging time. And then I got a major concussion playing ice hockey. So Scott is a specialist in healing brain conditions, you know, he's in chiropractic and other forms of healing. So I actually met Scott that way. And Scott introduced me to meditation. And we started going to meditation retreats together. And at one retreat we said, wow, what if we could share the energy in these group meditations in a digital format around the world? And that's where this idea of Wish Well began. And then Scott can take it from there. So that was 2017. So we've been doing this for six years. Uh, we created a logo when we started creating the app. The app at the time was called Zero One. Yes. And so we created this logo, and this logo had this those, those rings. And I came back from Burning Man, and I said, Neil, why don't we, I want to maybe get a real tattoo of this. And so we created temporary tattoos. And in a year's time, this mm -hmm. pre-COVID, we distributed over 100,000 of those tattoos that ah. we got. Ah including doing it at events like Tony Robbins. Yes. We're on the cover of a George Harrison tribute album. And over 25 people had that symbol permanently tattooed. Permanently tattooed? Permanently. Okay. Parents would have really been upset. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so permanently tattooed. Yes. And then COVID happened, which allowed us to focus on what we started, which was the technology. Yeah. yeah. And really what we've done is we've built a technology which facilitates acts of compassion and then captures the information of those acts to share it with the world mm -hmm. you know we've got a major mental health challenge in the world right now. Mm -hmm. yes. and science has clearly shown that one of the biggest contributors to solving that problem is re-establishing authentic human connection because a lot of the mental health conditions is about disconnection and I know for myself, going through a clinical depression, we're always looking for a solution to solve our problems. Mm -hmm. But science has also clearly demonstrated that the number one thing to solve that problem is me doing something for you. Okay. Because then I'm focusing on doing an act of goodwill for you, which makes me feel good. Okay. So it's actually me giving, which is helping me. Right. So we created this technology called Wishwell, which allows you to create a wish for somebody you love and to rally your friends and family to gift you their attention in the form of an intention focused on your wish. And every time somebody do, does that, you get a notification saying, Mary just prayed for me, or Joe just meditated for me. And every time I, I receive that, my, men, my mental construct changes, and I'm like, wow, somebody cares for me. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I feel somebody cares for me, the chemistry in my body changes. Right. Well, and Scott has a great example with his mother in there. So we created the alpha version okay. and launched in 2020. Okay. So I created a wish for my mom, who was going through chemo. Okay. Now, it's during COVID. She's alone. She actually lives in Montreal, so she's even more alone. Okay. So I rallied my friends. And what they do is a one-minute guided meditation that would put their attention on my mom. Okay. At the end, they send a personal note. Hope you're doing better today. Hope the chemo went well this week. And she started receiving notifications in, in a weekly Zoom. She was like, who's Barb? Who's Mariana? Who's Melissa? I'm like, yeah. what do you mean? And I was, she goes, 
they're sending me notes of love while I'm alone in the hospital, which shifted her experience mm -hmm. of being alone to being connected and loved. And then the app allows you to then at the end of the week or day mm -hmm. send gratitude and at the same time you're sending gratitude, they'll send, you send an update. Okay. And so they send an update and feel so different receiving mm -hmm. yes. this type of you know, wishing. And, and the other really powerful part of it is that um, the impact of compassion on medical outcomes is undisputed based on data. There's been an amazing book written by a couple of doctors called Compassionomics. And in that book, you know, it completely disregards this fallacy that I don't have enough time to be compassionate because it's proven that as little as 40 seconds of compassion has a meaningful outcome on medical results. Okay. So we allow you to create communities. So an example in a healthcare system would be the first community is the patient and their friends and family. That they get the emotional support and they are within the next community, which is a hospital room, which is within the community of a hospital ward and a hospital department within a healthcare system. And now the hospital can look at the levels of compassion in its different departments and relate them to the medical outcomes to further re-establish the power of compassion in a healthcare setting. And so when we created the alpha version, we learned a lot of things. First of all, a minute of time is a meaningful act of compassion. That's a long and time. It's a long it, time. It's 60 seconds. Yeah. It's definitely. And that healing, or uh, it was a safe place to ask for help. Yeah. And that's because of the community. So you create a community called your family. Yeah. The old community of your old boys. Yeah. You know, all these different communities that you belong to, yeah. but you don't have any place where you could support each other. Yeah. So this is where you felt safe to do so. And our users made it as part of their daily routine. And some of them said it replaced their doom scrolling. <laughs> right? I don't know if it was called that, but uh, too strong, right? But at the end of the day, I think that uh, you know, I'm a big fan of meditation and, um, and just sharing your story. It was inspiring me because, like I said, it's people who are having tough days. Mm -hmm. People are in the hospital. Uh, I have someone right now, a close friend, or he's having a uh, family member who's having a tough time, right? So I think people need that. So it's a powerful tool, um, and I'm excited that you had a chance to learn more about it. Thank you. And uh, you know, I've had a concussion when I was younger, too, so I know they're not fun. They're not fun either. But uh, could we could we finish with putting the tattoo on you? Sure. Okay. Perfect. Sure. Here, it's right here. Here I go. Here I Where go. Where would you like it today, Jim? Oh, you know, Your traditional right. place. Oh, my traditional of, place. Of two and a half years ago. Yes. Yes. And so, do you have a wish? A wish? Yes. Yes, I do. If you'd like me to witness it, you could say it out loud or you could just hold it in your heart. I'll hold it in my heart. Beautiful. And, and Jim, the power of this is that... Just to relax your hand. You know, everything is about our ability to align with the belief in our wish. And sometimes ourselves, it's hard to do it because we are hung up in our own story. But for somebody else to hold this intention, they're not hung up in your story, so they can fully embody this energy, right? And then every time you look at the tattoo, you remember this beautiful moment of human connection. And that memory then re-establishes your state in your body. You have hair on you. Allow me to make your wish perfect. God bless your wish, Kim. <laughs> Thank you. And you know, thanks for sharing in a moment of authentic human connection. Yes. You know, and now when you look at that, you're going to remember this beautiful moment. And every time you remember it, you're going to feel good. I know. I definitely do. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Scott. Oh, thank thank you. So made, made, made my day. Made my day. Enjoy um, to catch to capture this. Because I think it's important at the end of the day. We're at collision, so many great things happening. Uh, but to capture some of it really makes me more excited and well, I'll see you that. So thanks all of you've done. Congratulations. And we'll definitely thank stay in touch. Thank okay? you. Thank you, Jim. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Thanks.